10 things to never say to a mom. Being a mom is a full-time job, no naps, no off days, and definitely no lunch hour. So when someone from the well-rested community decides to point out the bags under the eyes of a new mom, you can imagine that it won't end well. Pregnancy and then childbirth come from a myriad of emotions, and messing with a volatile new mom can leave you with a blue bruise on the eye. Want that to happen? If you shouted a big no in response, then we have a list of things that you should never, we repeat, never say to a mom. Resort to congratulations when in doubt, but keep your trap shut every time there's an urge to say any of these things. Number one, sleep when the baby sleeps. Yeah, right. When the baby sleeps and forget about pumping breasts, the piled up laundry, the greasy dishes, and the bare fridge. Oh, and the other kid who is shouting in his mother's face competing for attention by means of his loud pitched voice enough to wake up the baby. If you really want the new mom to take some rest, pitch in to help her. Mind the kids or clean up the house so that she can doze off to dreamland. The least you can do is visit the baby and its mother with a basket of baked goodies so she can save some time on baking and maybe take a nap if time allows. In any case, just blurting out that she should coordinate nap time with the baby is plain disaster. Number two, your baby cries a lot. Once and for all, babies cry a lot and that is how it is. Deal with it. If you're being extra dramatic and telling her that her baby is special in a negative way because he's howling too much, you're just confirming the first time mom's worst fear. Yeah, she already feels that she isn't a good enough mom and thanks to you, her suspicion is backed up by proof. Or worse still, she gets scared that her baby would need therapy all their life. Don't do this to her. Saying that the crying might be due to an acid reflux is a lot better than saying the baby needs help. It's horrendous to say this, especially if all the baby did was just cry. Number three, it only gets worse as they grow older. When the new parents are being deprived of sleep and have vomit and drool over their clothes all the time, this is the last thing they want to hear. For a lot of them, the only thing that allows them to go on is the knowledge that things will get better with time. Don't snatch this from them, it's their last hope. Do you want them to go crazy thinking that dealing with a four-year-old will be a lot tougher than changing diapers and discussing potty shades and timings? Maybe it doesn't get too better, but they don't have to know it yet. Number four, are you going back to work soon? Let the new mom enjoy her work-free time with a bundle of joy because this time isn't coming back until she has another baby, so chill. As it is, she'll have to worry about childcare facilities, her inner emotional turmoil of leaving her baby, and getting back to her office routine. That's a lot of planning and she needs time for it. And on the other hand, if she is planning to get back to work early, keep your judgmental eyes away from her. Before commenting on her morals, consider that she may have to make ends meet with this job. Not everyone has it easy. Number five, will you be breastfeeding? Every mom has heard the breast is best mantra, but do you really have to repeat it to her? A lot of women struggle with breastfeeding because they're unable to produce enough milk and have to supplement with formula. At other times, due to some complications or personal choices, women give up on breastfeeding altogether. Whatever be the reason, who are you to judge? The decision of breastfeeding is hers, and if she doesn't choose this path, it doesn't make her any less of a mother. Don't make her feel that she has committed the most heinous crime of the century. Number six, do you work? Forget about a job that delivers a juicy paycheck at the end of every week. Let's keep that out for a while. Moms are cooks, house cleaners, chauffeurs, stylists, toy fixers, and butt wipers. They work non-stop with minimal breaks and no off days. Yeah, they get rewarded time to time with hugs and kisses, but that doesn't take away the focus from their workload. Moms work and they work a lot. So the next time you're tempted to ask her if she works, think again, because it'll be a huge blast you'll hear from her, and the very last also, because your friendship will officially end at this point. Number seven, when's the baby due? Actually, there's no baby there, just baby fat, surprise. Now, even though you stammer that people asked you about the due date long after delivery, know that it won't make anything better. It gets all the more awkward because, hello, she doesn't want to be asked the same question again. Even though she looks ready to pop when her baby is already in the pram, she doesn't have to be told that. This is one of the worst things you could say to a new mom, and with that boiling of emotions inside her, we'll not be surprised if she breaks your neck. 
Number eight, the baby doesn't look anything like you. Oh, wow, thanks for saying that. The woman bore her baby for nine months, went through a painful labor, and gave birth to a baby. But before she can feel fully happy about this new chapter of her life, you decide to tell her that her baby looks like the dad and not her? It might be true, but dismissing the mother's contribution like this isn't nice. But do you know what's worse? Telling the baby's dad that the baby only looks like the mother, and maybe he isn't even the father. That may be an innocent joke for you, but nothing along these lines can be a joke to the parents. It's hurtful, and you must know it. Number 9. Can you drink that wine while breastfeeding? By all means, say that if you want to get beaten and left as good as dead in some stinky manhole. Parenting is tough and stressful, so if a glass of wine helps to release stress for your mom, why do you have a problem with it? Like right when she's about to forget her jam-packed schedule and delve into some me time with her partner in crime, the wine glass, you will interrupt her. Let her enjoy the beverage in peace and rejuvenate herself. If you really have a problem with this way, help her with all the chores and especially looking after the baby so she can spare time for a spa. How about that? Number 10. When are you planning the next one? Are you serious? The next one? After pulling a pineapple out of your left nostril, would you feel like repeating the experience anytime soon? That's pretty much how childbirth feels, and repeating it soon is out of the question. This is the moment when new moms envy dogs, because they can give birth to a litter of four pups at a go, so less wear and tear for the soft tissue. Anyway, you aren't asking her if she's going to be ready for another baby soon. Come on, she isn't ready to clean up the puke off her clothes that her darling little one gifted her. Which of these things have you heard as a new mom? Tell us in the comments section below. Subscribe to our channel if you like this video, and while you're here, check out our other videos and tell us what you think of them. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching!